Hi, welcome friends. I need to share with um, a tarot pulling reading that um, myself and and my friend to give us some information, um, you know, offer some hope and some. St and uh, I did it on March the 31st, and before actually doing the pulling at the exact same time that here in the United States uh, on the news and telling us how over the next two see we will see, they said, 100,000 to 240,000 from this coronavirus. So when I got done late that evening, when I got done with this reading and I went and I looked at the, the news during the reading while we were doing it, yeah, I knew that um, I needed to share it myself. Disclaimer, I am not experienced or trained tarot card here. One deck that I've had for the past two years, which I have pulled out into um I, I cards for myself. I never for anyone else like people around me and looking I don't know, for me it just feels like a uh, an invasion of privacy to do tarot and to ask about other people's personal stuff. So I've only pulled cards for myself and I never thought that I would like um I, I'd share any disclaimer. I am not a tarot card reader. However, I am very filled with spirit, very, very intuitive, and I'm very empath uh, empathic. I'm very empathetic as well, but very empathic. Um, I really feel that the information that was received is on point. And not only I and my friend who's with me when we did this um, should pay attention and let I think that we both feel supposed to share information with, with anyone. Now, the reading was the current global vibratory status and where it will be a year from now. I asked to pull three words current months from now and a month now to explain what the story and I do need to tell you that before I, I did this reading or, or a, a thorough cleansing routine of my entire, entire apartment I made sure it was all down uh, vacuumed dish space was clean I made sure that myself took a bathing ritual um, was clean phys um, I did have incense and myrrh uh, feel raw frankincense and myrrh heavily throughout my small space. I did this before and, and as I did this, and most of I did call out verbally and internally to speak to highest form of truth, hate, love into my space and give me nation. I did verbally welcome any forms of the confusion that was what I did before I before we both started pulling cards now I asked for current six months and 12 months from now three main cards um, as I was parts un unexpectedly close friend comes a, a younger a younger lady comes and child that like if there's anything that I need and she has that she can help me out with. So she dropped by, and um, she also is, is not experienced. I, I'd said to myself, she's never picked up a, a, a tarot deck, ever. Um, what had happened is she was very, she was like, oh, I want to be a part. I said, okay, well, you know what? I have a, a, another deck of tarot that I've never, uh, was given to me about a year ago, and um, I never, I never used them. I put them around, I think, once. I used them once. So I put out and I asked her to take about 15 or 20 minutes shuffling and asking the global vibration uh, state that, that we were in. And then I told her to go ahead and ask um, one card only of the current situation or anything that fell out that wasn't just one card we would keep over and we would use them clearly they were supposed to be read as well she went and um she did her thing and a whole bunch of confirmation cards from her deck 
So that's what I'm getting for you. And I hope that you and you enjoy it. And I need to tell you again, this is my personal rotation and her rotation um, is solely with this video, with this video, um, grains of salt. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. And I love in peace and hope and strength. Please, 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 please stay inside. Keep your areas disinfecting and cleaning all, all of the time. Your keyboards, your phones, light switches, door. Be safe, be smart, and be. Okay, and here's what the spread looked like. Um, again, I reiterate, this isn't like a, a standard spread or something out of a book. It was totally um, just my uh, my yearning or, or need to get some clarification on the next year. And um, really, it was to offer my friend who... Um, Comes and make sure that I uh, make sure that I'm okay. It was to give her some kind of um, it, it's gonna be okay, because I, I know it's going to be. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be rough. So, as I said, it's not a standard spread. It's uh, a totally spirit led, uh, and and this is what this is what came out well, immediately. I'm sure that everybody, as I've been speaking, is drawn to that DNA card <laughs> that's up there when it was flipped over that was a third card that got flipped um when we were doing the reading because um this was the first one this was the second one this this okay but uh, of course this was like hmm all right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh give you my interpretation of of what what this means and this is supposed to, because I asked for current um, six months from now and 12 months from now, what, where we were going to be globally, not just the United States. So currently, my interpretation is this lotus flower unfoldment. And the unfoldment of what? Well, clearly, the virus. Um, I'm saying that the Page of Swords, okay. Also, I want to say that all of these cards are upright except for these, these two. And this one's special. I'll talk about it in a second. So, unfoldment, yes. We're, we're, something's opening up and we're being made known or aware of exactly what it is right now currently why because of this page of swords um, swords words your information this um, little girl is on top of a mountain so she's not down in the valley spitting out these words blowing out these words this information she's sitting up on top of high so this is good the enfoldment of what's happening to us right now is because there's some very, very good, um, innocent energy uh, backing up the information that's, that's coming forth. Now, immediately when I saw uh, the cloud coming out, I was like, yeah, mm-hmm, because that looks like a, a storm the little girl that's blowing out the innocent all of this this real unfoldment of what's going on um, it's causing a storm it's causing a storm okay now the next card that is here um, this is current as I said um, so, uh, I asked for three cards, so it would be current six months, a year from now, but with the other cards, um, spirits or energies decided to give us every three months. So here's currently, 
and my interpretation is this is three months from now um, so April May and June this would be July August and September so somewhere somewhere around uh, end of Ju June or July childhood is upside down this says innocence which to me means innocence lost not innocent at this point because of what's going on globally um, we are not acting like uh, adults we're all first of all this whole entire spread to me I, I got motherly strong mother energy and all, all children childlike energy through the whole entire thing very young um, but three months from now I say end of June July upside down people are going to be acting so childlike um, I feel selfishness and stubbornness and um, uh, mm, greediness um, even though I'm feeling that this is us and we're all children um, because it's upside down we are not acting like innocent children we are acting opposite than innocent which is extremely uh, guilty um, opposite of being good and loving and kind upside down but we're still children we're, we're still very much it, it's because we're selfish we're greedy we're stubborn very very childlike like um, la 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 I can't see you covering the eyes I can't see you covering the ears la 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 I can't hear you um, you know so it doesn't exist extreme childlike behavior still three months from right now okay six months from right now first of all I want to point out that mother Gaia mother earth is dead center in this and this is all this is all her doing okay um, this is the ten of cups and it's in reverse six months from now we are still um, well not only see we've graduated so we're not like innocent you know the the innocent upside down like la la I can't hear because we're so childlike look now even though we're young um, we know more and, and we should be way more way way more responsible um, cups is emotions um, very watery and normally if this card was standing the opposite way upright it means humanitarianism humanitarianism um, it means unity they're both holding hands equal balance spirit and uh, flesh or male female um, uh, fire water uh, uh, all good this this should be unity family unit um, work, you know all working together all of our emotions in check and uh, all balanced and good and and helping up here all of humanity all mother earth and everything that resides in it not true in six months from now it's upside down which means there's still no care about the most desolate and the poorest of the poor this also um, instead of humanitarianism being upright because it's upside down it symbolizes great um, monetary greed selfishness for oneself and own camp and um, I'm also gonna say because uh, these are um, They're almost about to, to go like they're about to make the leap into the into the uh, higher art arcana okay even though they're still on the lower end I'm saying that this is this is governments is what I want to say it's taking me a long way to get to it but governments people in charge 
people who we look to globally, our local government, our, you know, state government, federal government, and then the world in, in general. Everything is upside down. Nobody's caring about anyone except for themselves. And unlike the child, uh, the childlike greediness and selfishness, now we've, we, we're really, <laughs> we're really selfish. And this is supposed to be a balance, um, a balancing act here and everything nice and balanced. It's not. All of this is going to pour out. Everyone's fears, emotions are extremely uh, strong. They're not in balance and they're pouring out all over. Hmm. Nine months from now, I feel that, m of course, here she is. She's in her home all alone because we're still, in my opinion, locked, locked down because of all of this still nine months from now please don't get discouraged from this because it gets much better um i don't know when i saw this card and i saw her sh she was gaining peace i mean there's it's it's kind of like dreary out there the sun isn't shining it's still kind of uh, mysterious but it is light it's not darkness and she's in here and um, there's a snake in the corner which to me represents knowledge and wisdom so uh, also the word is invocation and vocation means a skill that you have something that you're good at a skill your vocation and in to me means your inward skills so I believe that in nine months um, we're all uh, globally should be looking inward uh, um, and what we can do to help globally, locally, you know, help and, and get us out of, out, out of all of this that's going on. And it, and it is starting to get brighter. But in the same time, <clears throat> this was quite disturbing to me. A tsunami a wake-up call it makes total sense because all of this is saying no you're still not getting it you're still not getting it nine months from now even though you're in here and people are like trying it still didn't get it yet so a major wake-up call is coming um, what would this be so April May June July, August, September, October, November, December. So end of December, beginning of January, February, somewhere in there. Um, globally, we still haven't listened. We, we still haven't listened. So now Mother Earth, who again is She's dead center in the middle of this is all, you know, all related to her. She's going to make sure that um, before this, before the end of this year, I, I think, before 2001, because I see this as the circle as a whole, and I see that the tsunami, the wake-up call comes in the beginning of this and not like in the middle or at the end. I'm thinking it's going to be early on. Um, but we need it because still uh, the people who are ruling and in charge of things still have not got their stuff together and uh, something more if you guys can imagine needs to take place at this point I also see that there's a full moon um, reflecting in this tsunami which means to up uh, to pour out <sighs> so I'm just feeling like Mother Earth is going to pour something out in great proportions because we still have not listened. Um, and then here is where it starts getting better, you guys. So here is April, a year from now, April, May, June. Right? I see the sun is coming out. It's burning off the fog, okay? 
it says veiled but i'm feeling that this everything that's been veiled truth and love and the way that they, everything should be running is slowly burning off at this point it's not full out sun yet um you know it's still foggy hazy and and unclear but i do see the sun burning through at this point and it's getting better and if we go down here um i'm also seeing that reflected in, in this card um wands mean manifestation okay so an eight to me means an unbroken circle which is combined of two fours which is foundation foundation so to me this confirms that um, a year from now the fog will be burning off sun truth light love all of that's coming through and whatever this was it worked because now i see like i said the fog up here it's not gone yet see the rough seas you know the um the waves licking up on on the ship still rough seas but i see that we're safe in the ship huge ship i see that we're all going to be safe and this unbroken eight um circuit i want to call it of manifestations will not be broken whatever happened um here this is a historical it's changing life as we know it for the remainder of history um like i said even though i see that this is bumpy um it's all good and this right here i see this is unity coming back this was n not unity upside down only about yourself and um flash and money and not humanitarianism this i see is unity um it's it's back now i see this is the mother mother earth and this is us her child the baby dolphin and we are in unity with her and we are flying through we're just flying through this um these choppy waves gonna be gonna all be good gonna gonna start being good i don't mean like at this date boom everything yay because like i said it's still choppy still kind of foggy but i feel it's really gonna change a year from now not uh, weeks from now as people say um don't 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 get caught up in false hope all right now dead center is this ancestors card now this was one of the cards along with a couple other I'm gonna show you that are off to the right that you can't see um that were like confirmation of why all of this is happening and you know right at the center of it what is it and we get the ancestors card and immediately when I saw this I seen all of these hands in the center and I felt greediness and reaching out and grabbing and there's nothing like they're trying to grab on to this which is a snake which is knowledge and wisdom but when I first saw the card I didn't even see the snake because I wear glasses to see close up do you know what Kathy saw when I saw this I saw a whole bunch of greedy hands reaching up grabbing and um i saw this as an umbilical cord like it, this has always been like this we have always been reaching our hands out greedy 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 grabbing whatever it is from up here from mother from, from mother earth we don't we don't care we've done it since histories began from our birth all the way through umbilical cord that that's what i saw now also as soon as i saw this i looked at my friend and i said synergy synergy look one plus one doesn't equal two it equals three or um or or even greater right the whole is um the whole is greater than some of its parts and i just went on and on and on about synergy uh, uh, about this this is why 
um, we're at the center of this. We caused all of this. We did. And I picked up ancestors as, yeah, myself. All of my past incarnations that I've been here on this earth, this is my fault. This is my fault too. Not taking care of her, um, being greedy, not looking at animal, plant, human, and environment all exactly in the same even um, lawful way. No. Um, so this to me makes total, total sense as well. I'm going to really quick before I show you these other confirmation cards and what happens after this year, which really is wonderful. I want to show you something which to me was confirmation. There's a few confirmations and you'll see in a second, but um, first of all, you count these cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. There's master number eleven cards in this main spread that we did. Eleven is my number. Uh, it shows it's been showing up throughout my whole life. Ones and elevens. One is my life path number, and eleven show up through everything: date of birth, marriages. Uh, my social security, not like uh, phone number, everything is 11 with me or a 1. So I was like, that's a nice confirmation that um, this is truthful guidance that I need to pay attention to. Um, I'm going to speak about the stones now that you might see all around the placements now. This is also a confirmation to me because I had the notion, I didn't tell my friend about this, but I had the notion that I was going to put in six of my stones and crystals in a bag and shake them up and I was going to pick one, she was going to pick one, I was going to pick one, she was going to pick one and we'd lay it on our first, you know, original base three cards. Well, when I told her that, now that's, be, look, this is before any of these like extra cards were, were were pulled out we just knew we were gonna have six main we knew we had six cards and so I wanted to pull six stones to see if they would correlate as well so um, I just told her we we're gonna put some stones in a bag and we're gonna lay them out didn't tell her the number how many or anything and she said oh you know what I want to do something hold on and as I get up and I go off to pick up my six stones I don't know what she's gonna go out and get she goes down to her car and she grabs this stone right here out of her car and she brings it up and she goes can we use this stone too and I said oh, well, sh well sure we'll throw it in the bag and after we pick our cards and um you know, we lay out our, our placements, then we'll pick, then we'll pick the stones. So, um, ironically, there ended up being seven stones. And the girl that I'm speaking about, my friend, seven is her number. Seven shows up all over in her life, life path, and, um, uh, constantly seven she's just seven 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 so I thought it very intriguing that she felt compelled to run downstairs and get the seventh stone I'm really thinking it was because of all of her energies that she's working with we're like us too we we want to we want to say confirmation so I thought that that was very interesting I also uh, I don't know a lot about um, crystals and stones because I'm just learning all of this just like the, the tarot I'm just kind of like playing with them and um, feeling out you know what and, and what it is but I did find it ironic that when we after we we did all of this the stones almost look like the colors of the cards look at this one sitting between these two look look at this one I mean it's almost yeah and and this looks just like his 
her hair here and all of the wind blowing and you know the the mountains looks just like it this one it's a black <laughs> a black like a root stone i don't know what it's called but it's 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 like really extremely black root connected this is actually like a piece of granite but it's white granite so i mean to me i'm feeling like this is firm foundations will because of all of this when the fog comes out or, or comes off but really i wanted to show you this one this was clear quartz and because this is a water a um a water card i'm really feeling like out of this wake up call uh we're gonna have clarity of mind clear mind um and thoughts all my everything of the mind is going to come really clear uh because of this okay now i will show you confirmation cards that were off to the right all right here uh confirmation cards when we were done interpreting um, our spread we asked for confirmation that it was going to be clearing up at the end of that time and um, things were going to go in a whole different direction and we were going to uh, be on the right path that globally personally spiritually physically um, planetarily that we need to be on so um, I told her to pick up her deck and I picked up my deck and I told her to choose the very first card that was on the deck hers and the very first card that was on my deck and she got crystals and focus and again I think that that comes in like I said with the crystal clear quartz coming clear into focus and look how beautiful this is purple majesty um, all of these lights spirit filled everything in harmony uh earth air water it's just everything beautiful everything coming into to focus and lots of of green or uh, lots of uh purple so lots of to me this is a lot of crown chakra just a beautiful spiritual um a, a great new time i'm believing that this is like maybe this is like when the new age of aquarius kind of comes in i haven't looked at any of the planetary things in reference to these cards that i pulled okay and this was the card that was on um uh, the top of my deck and i'm liking that as well the night comes in still not the, like not um huge over powering like not the king or or a uh, king but knight so still young beautiful wands wands fire manifestation um riding on the white horse uh protected with the gold shield around his uh, head mind thinking um sight words uh, just gold got gold all over and uh, you know onward and upward here we go we're continuing on with this and I also see down here I think this is a tiny it here's what it looks like to me it looks like a little baby lion it looks like a baby lion but with a mane on it like it's an adult size lion but small and this to me looks like it like kind of morphed in like is this a goat or a ram um is this say an aries like like fire and like aries mm, mars lone warrior kind of defeated and the you know lion i don't i don't know really what this I'm just telling you right now what I feel. I didn't even really say anything at the time. Um, and the reason this is ancestry card was brought over because the girl who I was doing the reading with, she said, wait a second, I don't know why. And it's before these two cards were flipped over. Actually, there's two more cards that are up here that 
I'm going to show you. It's before any of these four cards, confirmation cards, were flipped. She reached into the center of our placement and said, wait, this needs to go in the center of these over here too. It needs to be used for this and our main placement. And I said, oh, okay, I like it. So she set it here and she put it there and I said, I like it. You know why? Now I see, again, I'm seeing synergy, but I don't see grabbing hands now. Now I see united hands all grabbing on a piece of this knowledge and wisdom. And the knowledge and wisdom is, unite, is, is uniting all of our, our hands globally from all four corners of the earth. I totally, you know, all these cards can be interpreted, you know, in one aspect or the other, and good or evil, if you want to say that. But you can't have evil without having good, and you can't have good without having evil. So, gotta have the black to have the white, uh, gotta have the white to have the black. So, I felt very encouraged when, um, this was the only card in the middle. I, I could feel, again, I felt synergy, synergy. And I told her, I feel synergy. So we flipped hers over, we flipped and we were like, yay. And then I said, okay, you know what? It's not over yet. And she said, serious? Because like, I feel like I just drank eight pots of coffee and did a bunch of uppers like drugs. I'm so high right now. There's going to be more. And I said, yeah, I don't, it's almost over, but I feel like we're supposed to look at the bottom card of each of, of each of our decks to let us know exactly, you know, to confirm this and set it straight exactly what the message is supposed to be. So she said, okay. And she flipped her card over. Oh, snap. And it said synergy. And I said, yay. I'm like dancing all over my lip. Woo, woo. Look at it. And it says green man. So yes, yes. I really believe that um, fossil fuels and um, I just feel like there is a green man. The, the We're just turning a course and synergy. It's going to be because we all collectively, globally, put our hands together in a wise, um, educated fashion and took care of our earth, our fellow man, um, and, and where we live, our bodies as well. And um, that was my confirmation card to her confirmation card. And I said, yeah, I like the eight because again, it's an unbroken cycle and pentacles means fruition. It's payoff time. Yes, the payoff time from doing this, from our synergy back down here, working together, all of us, all of the generations uh, from now until the future. I really think that it's beautiful. Um, balance, uh, this is a male energy. So this means leadership and guidance. So right dead center of the two pillars, balanced, um, all of the fruit here, fruition, purple, again, beautiful clusters means infinite. It's kind of like corn. It doesn't just mean fruit. It means abundance. Um, he's in the earth. We see the sea. We see the air. Everything is all um, good and together. But what I wanted to point uh, this out is... It's an eight, which I said is, to me, that means firm, double firm foundation, unbroken um, circuit of eight. Look what he's doing. He's still working. We're still working and we need to. And we need to. Um, yeah, so I, I guess that's, that's it. That's the whole of it. I love you guys. I wish you peace, healing, strength. It's all going to be okay, but we really need to work together. Don't be caught, caught off guard or surprised. Going to get really, 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 really bad. 
all going to be okay if we work together as a team, you guys. And ultimately, at the end of it all, all of this had to happen so that we can enter into a new a new age of taking care of ourselves, our neighbors, our animal life, plant life, and our environment. That's it, you guys. Um, if anyone else, I, I'm, I'm more than welcome anyone with astrology and tarot experience to please, please, please leave your interpretations down in, um, in the description box, as well as anyone who who doesn't have any experience what do you see and feel um, within these spreads um, I'm, I'm very interested and I'd like to know okay that's it you guys love each other just as much as you love yourself okay peace <laughs>